Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm sure fun. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a specific word. There is someone, maybe a lady, maybe a guy. And the Lord says he brought you, he took you there for you to learn. And not to... And not to, oh my God, this word just escaped my, my mind. He took you there for you to learn and not for you to criticize. Not for you to criticize. The Lord says he took you there for you to learn and not for you to criticize what they are doing. I see a new relationship in your life, not actually a romantic relationship, no. I see God connect, God has connected you, or maybe he's connecting you still to maybe a married couple, maybe to a business owner, maybe to a certain family somewhere, maybe to an organization. God connected you there. Maybe they are not paying you a salary or they are, I don't know. But I see a new connection that God has brought you into. But the reason why God is taking you there, why God took you there, is for you to learn. You see, the place where God has taken you to is a place where he wants to carry you to in the future. The people God has connected you to. Let me use the example of marriage, all right? I see somebody, you are connected to a couple. God has brought you together with a certain couple. And they are like friends to you. But the reason why the Lord brought these guys close to you is because he wants you to learn from their marriage. He wants to take note of the things that you must fix while you were single before you get married. God wants to take note of the challenges they are going through so that when you go through them in your own marriage, you know it is normal and it's not an attack of the devil. You know it is normal and it is not a call for, for alarm or you know, the reason why you should get a divorce. You see, most of us, we get into setups where God wants us to learn. You see, God will carry each and every one of us to a place. But before he gets you to that place, sometimes he brings the, he brings the gleams of what that place looks like to you. So you might get acquainted, understand how it works. Before Joseph becomes the, the, the prime minister in Egypt, he first works in the house of Potiphar. There he understood the rudiments of the place. There he could understand how the government works. He had an idea of what the government looks like. He had an idea what not to be. Oh my God. What not to be if you want to stay in power. It's like you have a friend who has once done a jewel, 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 like jewelry, right? Jewel. Okay, like earring business, like jewelry, yeah? A jewelry business. And you were close to this friend while they were doing their business. And then their business fails and they close the business. And two or three years later, you want to, to venture into that same business. Guess what? You would know what not to do. You would know exactly what steps not to take, who not to buy from, what not to say. Because you have once been close to somebody who was in that place. So many a times God gets us connected to certain people in certain seasons of our lives for us to learn from them. Not to go and criticize, criticize. Not to go and judge what they are doing. No. God is connecting you to them for you to learn. Because he wants to take you to that very place in the future. You see, and that's a sign to, for, to make you know that yours is around the corner. And you're simply going through a season of teaching in a classroom for that graduation. And I pray that you hearing me, that this prophetic word is for you, you can listen. Sometimes God brings you close to people. God allows certain connections in your life. So that you can learn. You can get the lessons from there. To make your own better. So you can avoid those mistakes. There are people who have short, um, short, um, is it patience span or waiting span? Tolerance, yes, short tolerance. They can't tolerate things for long. So imagine you get into a marriage today and then your, your ability to tolerate is so short, so small. Guess what? 
The slightest challenge in the marriage, you think that it's a divorce. You think he's cheating. You think he doesn't love you. Whereas a man can disconnect from his wife when he's in a financial crisis. Because they begin to think just about their work and how to make it work, how to break through that financial stagnation. And they don't even think that they should spend more time with you. But when once that is handled, come and see how much love they will spread on you. So please, God brought you to that place for you to learn. Because if you look at that person, you might have never met them. In a normal life circumstance, you'd have never met with them. God brought you close to them for you to learn. Take down notes. I made a post a couple of days back. I said, sometimes God allows you in a certain place so he can, you, so you can learn the do's and the don'ts of your future. Sometimes God allows you, maybe God, God can allow you to do a business he knows will not succeed. God can allow you to enter into a relationship he knows will not lead to marriage. But the reason why he lets you there is so that he can use that as an opportunity to teach you the do's and the don'ts of the right place. You know, don't do this if you want to. If you want to do this, don't do that. He tells the Israelites, don't marry foreign wives. Don't worship any other God except the Lord your God. If you do this, I will do this. So that is the principle. Please, the Lord brought you beside these people. The Lord gave you this connection so that you can learn. Take notes. Because you're about to get to that place. And what you learn now will keep you there. Or it will shut that door for you. I pray that God will give you the right wisdom. I pray that as you hear this words, you have more direction. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Shalom.